Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Moltrop here. Game two of Cal versus 4GG is what I'm going to be casting. Here's the epic Korean Air OSL intro. I really, it's, it doesn't seem like this should be so epic. It's just the music makes it so awesome. Um, let me make sure this is recording. Okay, it's recording good. I had my mic muted and I unmuted it right before uh, starting the game. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, this is, again, game two of their best of three sets. Cal came out ahead in the first game with a freaking brilliant strategy. Um, it was a kind of a double tech strategy where Cal went for Reavers and Dark Templars at the same time. And uh, I actually read an interview on Team Liquid that had been translated uh, from Cal where um, they asked him about his strategy and he said, well, Terrans either put turrets to defend against DTs or turrets to defend against Reavers. So I made both and knew he couldn't, he wouldn't be able to defend one of them. That's exactly what happened. He made turrets to defend Reavers, which is putting your turrets around the outside of your base. Um, and then he just went in and he, he did some Reaver harassment where he could and while he was trying to defend the Reaver harassment, he came in and stacked his second shuttle to drop DTs in and the DTs did major damage and major distraction and then Cal just multitasked the crap out of 4GG um, doing Reaver drops at the Nat, and DTs at the main and more Reavers at the main and DTs running in the Nat and Dragoons everywhere and craziness. And the DTs took out the turrets so the Reaver could come in and harass the main more. It was awesome, it was brilliant. And he actually said that he was planning on using a strategy against Flash and their OSL group, but uh, he didn't get a chance to because they were cross positions and so it wasn't going to work. Um, anyway, so we'll probably see just Cal just um, play s just a normal game here, just uh, play a normal strategy, just a sort of a macro thing. We could see 4GG cheese theoretically. I don't know, sometimes on game two when you're up a game, even the best players will do a little cheese, just try and seal the seal the uh, <clears throat> the series real quick especially if they don't like the second map and they like the third map better then they'll just do a cheese on the second map <clears throat> anyway um, yeah so we'll see how it goes uh, for Gigi's the blue Terran at the bottom right by the way Cal the purple I'm sorry I, won't, I don't know why I said purple P stands for purple I was looking at the P1 at the top of the screen the orange rather orange Protoss at the top right hand corner um, yeah, so it should be a good good macro game for GG. He's known for doing uh, timing attacks in general. Um, again, he's been kind of off of his top game. He won that MSL, and he's kind of been touch and go since then. I won't say he's been a slump since then, but he's been off and on. And uh, but generally, that's kind of his his strength. That's that's how he won the MSL basically was by doing timing attacks. Um, and, and timing the normal builds and that kind of thing. But um, the metagame changes, the timings change, so he can't just keep doing the same thing all the time. So maybe that's why he uh, stopped uh, doing quite as well. And it looks like we're going to see some some 12 Nexus action from Cal. He is not planning it on a gateway right now. <laughs> she hurt someone. I wish I could read that sign. I still want to learn Korean. I just haven't had a chance to. Oh, that guy's totally posing. What is he doing? <laughs> Matt of Matt and Steve SC is learning Korean now, so I gotta I gotta catch up with him. I learned a little bit before when I worked uh, a crappy temp job. I um, I had some Korean language like CDs that I'd listen to sometimes uh, on my iPod. So I learned a little bit of Korean there. Chogum Korean. Uh, Chogum is a little, or a little. Let me see if I can remember any of it. Um, no, I'm not even gonna try, cause I know there's a few people that watch my games that are learn that know Korean, like Basie. Props to Basie, by the way. Always, Basie always deserves a shout out. Um, anyway, <clears throat> but um, what was I getting at? Oh yes, so I don't want to embarrass myself. Uh, anyway, uh oh. 
Whoa, for GG still has two guys on gas here, which um, normally uh, I would think would lead me to believe that he's going for some kind of a expand but tech build, like some kind of a starport build, like a drop build or something like that. But um, he's got a barracks. He's starting to pump Marines. He's got his factory, and because he's still got those SCVs on gas, he could theoretically go for some kind of a two factory rush. But I'm not sure. Um, Anyway, we got Marines heading out though, and he's gonna get those Marines in the right is, uh, right a little bit after the Nexus completes, and he's sending the SCVs. That's what I was wondering if he was gonna do. For GG is going all out here. He's sending the SCVs with his Marines. He's gonna try and bunker that new Nexus, and it may be a little bit too late. Cal already has a gateway up. There's the bunker going up right now. Cal has to respond perfectly to this, uh, to, to use a tastelessism. Um, he's gonna kill that SCV and try and slow down the bunker, but he's going for the Marines instead, um, which actually is the better idea in, in that situation. And try and kill the Marines with those SCVs coming in there. It's better to try and kill the Marines before they can get in the bunker. The bunker is about to complete. He kills off at least one SCV. He's got a Zealot out now, so the Zealot is going to go to work on the SCVs, and he can actually theoretically kill off those SCVs. He's got some time, though. He's going to try and buy time. Look at that. That was pretty clever by 4GG, putting the SCVs in the way to try and block those... Uh, probes and try and uh, get a couple extra attacks on him so he can try and uh, kill off a couple more probes. So for, um, Cal is now going to have to struggle to and he's actually sent the SCVs back home already uh, which is also pretty smart actually but it's going to leave it open to um, uh, him moving in here and possibly killing off that bunker because there's only going to be two SCVs to repair it if we can just kill off those two SCVs relatively quickly if we can get the Zealot in there. He's probably going to target fire the Zealot with the bunker and, and the, and the Vulture, so the Zelda actually may not even be able to get over towards those SCVs to stop it from repairing. But he's running out of time. He can afford to spend a little bit of time building up forces to counterattack that bunker because the Nexus has some hit points. He's probably waiting for another round of Dragoons or something to pop out of there. Oh, it's getting close. He's got 100 hit points left. He needs to go now. He needs to go now. He's not going to go. He's just going to sack the, sack the Nexus, apparently. And just build up a force. He may try and counterattack, though, which could be uh, could be theoretically effective. We've actually seen Stork do a really good job of doing counterattacks with um, uh, just sending dragoons past the bunker, actually, and and attacking the main. And they don't have anything that there because they've just been they've usually expanded while the bunker was up, uh, while they were trapped in their base. And those SCVs are just now getting back to, back home. I'm not sure why it took them so long. That's kind of weird. Uh, and, oh man, oh, oh my video just skipped. So I'm sorry I missed whatever just happened there. It sounded like a mine hit a Dragoon. Um, anyway, so um, <clears throat> putting that Nexus back up now. So he actually saved up and once he broke out, he just built rebuilt that expansion knowing that 4GG would have expanded while he was trapped in his base. Although I don't actually see that base on the mini-map. I wonder if that's the case or not. Robotics facility going up now. That would be hilarious if, like, uh, he went and killed the Nexus again, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's got his gateways up now, so he's going to be able to start putting out units. Units are pretty good things to have around. Um, I'm curious to see what he's going to do with this robo, if he's just going to try and catch up by macroing or, or, or what. Um, or if he's going to still try and do a little bit uh, somewhat late reaver harass instead. He's, uh, Vulture is hunting around, thinking of going in there, trying to do some harassment. Dragoons are in a nice position, not going to let that in. Oh, range is just now starting. Interesting. So he definitely sacrificed a lot of money there. Uh, well, not a lot of money, but he sacrificed a lot to get the money for that third nexus, I guess I should say. Um, the second nexus that he built since he lost the first one. Um, so he's actually not going to be too bad off because for Gigi has kind of let up. He ex was expecting a counterattack and never mind. Never mind at all. He was expecting a counterattack and he kind of fell back to his base, but now that he's got a few tanks, um, he's got mines as well. He's going for the attack. Siege mode is upgrading. If Siege mode upgrades, Cal is going to be in big trouble here. And this is just, this is reminding me a lot of their games in that MSL that Cal, uh, sorry, that 4GG ended up winning, um, where it was a lot of back and forth and Cal barely holding things off. He held off game one and then lost game five. So are we going to see a repeat here where Cal wins with a clever strategy in game one and loses game two? He's pulling probes off to fight with probes. The mines are in the mix though. He could kill off probes with the mines. He's got a shuttle out. He's trying to micro with the shuttle. He's going to have to run his probes away now. And I'm sorry, the video skipped again. Okay, now I'm back. Um, siege mode is not completed yet, though, but he may he may do that. He's going to lose the Nexus again, I think. Oh, my gosh. Cal is... <laughs> 
Oh, man. But partly this is because 4GG didn't uh, expand after all. Uh-oh. Whoa, be careful those mines. Whoa, mines doing, whoa, not as much, da oh, never mind. I was going to say not as much damage as the I thought, but then another mine going off, killing two Dragoons. Almost all the Dragoons are dead. Cal's in huge trouble.